Back, Jackie Kostek here for round two to get our morning jump started. And uh, wait, what's that old? Do, do you think I'm sexy? Remember that song? Oh, <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, if you think, think I'm, I'm sexy. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. 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 Rod Stewart, Rod Stewart. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Rod Stewart from the 70s. My, my best set up there. I was going to say, well, all I can say here is uh, you're welcome. So he joked that he's always been the bridesmaid, never the bride. Yes, this sexy man has been among the sexiest, but never the sexiest for years. That is until now. So people's sexiest man of 2023 is, drum roll, Patrick Dempsey. The 57-year-old said the honor came as a surprise, but he's looking forward to using the platform for something positive, maybe to give a boost to the center that he started to help families dealing with cancer. But maybe he got it bad for the other sexy men of 2023. Usher is having himself a year with a Las Vegas residency and, of course, headlining the Super Bowl halftime show. After a health crisis, Jamie Foxx is back with five projects, including Netflix hit They Clone Tyrone. Pedro Pascal heated up the screen in The Last of Us and The Mandalorian. 27-year-old Timothy Chalamet among the young heartthrobs. And his brother, oh, well, that is, okay, we're just going to keep just rounding. All, I mean, yeah, we are, whole, we're uh, way <laughs> off here, but it's fine. You get the point. All right. His brother, Travis, has gotten a lot of attention, but Eagle Center and father of three, Jason Kelsey, also on the list. That's Timothy Chalamet. Yeah, we're totally, there's Jason yeah. Kelsey. Mm -hmm. And then Lenny Kravitz is uh, 59 years mm -hmm. old. That's Look at that fair. body. He's in really good shape. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really how, I'm gonna, well, he must just be and he's you know, doing a lot of crunches. 59 I mean, years old. Take it old. from. A couple of us. It's hard to look like that. At that age. <laughs> I know. You look at J Lo on the other yeah, one yeah, side, and then yeah. I, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. And probably a you know chef and all of that. Okay. Yeah. Maybe one way to increase your own sex appeal is to slather on a little perfume that smells like your favorite cocktail. So if your favorite cocktail is an espresso martini, yes, blend number 83 is a new perfume from Absolute Vodka and Kahlua. The scent is a mix of dark chocolate, sugar cane rum, coffee, and a bit of musk. Can't forget the musk. You can't for, forget the musk. Can't, is that for really men and cannot. women? Or, yeah, it's for women only. It's, uh, you know what? I think it's gender neutral. Oh, I think you sl I slather it on anyone. About this 105 really bucks. I'm out. Yeah. 105. Right. Yes. I mean, you don't on. need to smell like an espresso martini. No, I don't. You just no. make I one and do a little, little dabble, do you? That's what I was going to say. <laughs> you know, like, like, I don't need to attract more men. Like, I got one. Yeah, well, you know? That's true. We'll lather you up in that. <laughs> <laughs> and again, we're going to move on. Thank you, Jack.